Hello, in this video I'm going to be going to Iona, the first location in Minnesota. It's a DC fast charger for electric vehicles built by a conglomeration of the automakers. It supports both CCS, the outgoing standard, and then the incoming NACS, North American Charging Standard. I'll be demonstrating both. Uh, I have an adapter, so on my electric vehicle I can take advantage of either type of connection and you'll get to see a detailed video explaining and showing how the process works. Hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, I am at uh, the Iona DC fast charger station, brand new one in Minnesota. They've got four CCS and four NAX spots. And a quick show you how to uh, start up a charging session. Hold up here, there's a basic credit card uh, tap, which we'll do uh, shortly. I'll show you how to do that. but. What I'm going to do is jump into my vehicle and show you how Android Auto will allow you to start up a charging session. Now, why don't you get in on the other side? All right. So I'm starting up the car as he's walking around. All right, this is Android Auto. Not necessary, but since Iona uses a variety of different... Um, uh, providers for billing you have your choice and in this case I've got charge point so I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that to show you how it works so on the screen here get through the boot up process with the car and go into my menu okay I'm going to choose charge point Oops. Let's get a load. It's going to look for lo nearby spots. And we are at spot two. There's an Equinox right next to us over here. That one's uh, what, in spot six. That one's charging, so you can see that. You can see other locations. There's uh, down the road, there's two more. We're going to use, we're in spot number one on 1B, one so that's going to be two. So I hit that. Normally I would hit start charge. It would tell you that it's ready to go. And then you just shut off your vehicle or leave it on in um, uh, park mode. But I'm going to shut that off and show you how the tap works. Even more convenient, it's not needing an app at all. And just using your credit card or your phone instead. So this is the setup here. All right, don't know how well that can be seen. I can do up down in the menu here, pricing. App start if I'm to go through the app. Plug and charge. Uh, is that hopefully that'll be enabled so I'll be able to use that with my vehicle or just plain old uh, credit card. So I'm going to choose that. All right, we're going to go with that. It literally on the, the instructions it says here is. Step one, uh, start on the card reader, select a connector, present payment, and then plug in the vehicle. So I'm literally going to do that here. So start on the card reader. And the card reader, very hard to read here. I am choosing 1B. And now it's telling me to tap. So just unlock my phone. Do that. It's charged. 
Okay, so I'll be billed with that. It'll do the, the pre-billing. It's got $50 reserved. What happens is you plug in, you do your charging session, and when you're done, that prepayment will turn into a real payment and it'll give you back the difference. Oops, didn't choose the right one here. <laughs> you can see it's flashing which one to grab. And just plug in. And that's pretty much it. You can see the, the green light and it's going. So now we're going to stop it and we'll do step two. We'll go over to the other one, the next spot. All right, I'm uh, at the same charging station. Just moved a couple of spots down. We're at where the, the NAX cables are. And I have my adapter. So same process as before. Uh, just the quick tap and plug in and the whole works. Let's see, put down my camera here. Get a good look at that. This is the, the old school end. There's the new school end. In the shade, much better. It's a very hot day. All right, so same thing here. Starting the card reader. Get my phone unlocked so it's ready to go. We are going to be on 5B. So let's go ahead and tap. I did the tap. Present payment. It's been processed. There we go, it's been approved. So this is just like, uh, uh, oops, B. Just like the superchargers. You plug in the adapter first. Nice solid click there. And then plug in this end here. Nice long, generous cord, everything should be good. It's blue there, it's waiting to connect. I'll grab my camera here and preparing for power delivery. The other one was fast, of course, this is gonna take longer. Cause <laughs> uh, yes. No, just coincidence, windy day, hot. Busy station? No, there's actually only one other person here. And we're good. Yep. I'm at 60% and I was parked inside with a cool a cool ramp up until coming over here. So no real heat to work with for a fast battery charge, but it's working. That's it, that's the whole process, quick and easy. Works awesome. I'm going to film getting shutting off too. When you're done, use the app. The vehicle is on. You can stop it through the app or on your phone. Doesn't hit stop here. Do you want to stop? Yes. That's it. That's the whole process. And then reverse the, the adapter here. Light is off. We're good button to release and then this just pulls out the little button on the bottom is a release and you're good that's it that's the whole process